Oh, hey guys. Today we're going to do a, an SSD replacement for a Dell Latitude 7410. As you can see here, this is the, the exact model of what we're working on. Um, you know, if you want to find the full specs and information about this specific laptop, you can go just do a, a search on Google and do and type in your, uh, you know, express service tag. Oh, well, this is a service tag here and the, this is the express service code. Um, you can put one or the other, or you can scan this unit here. But sometimes I notice when you're trying to scan an actual, you know, uh, a barcode, sometimes it just goes in, it goes into your, you know, uh, it's almost like a, a notepad type of document. It doesn't necessarily bring you to the information page of what Dell had kind of intended to to give you this code, so that it can give you bring you straight to the link of the full information of your your Dell laptop. Because I notice I do this a lot, and it doesn't always do that. So if you want to make sure that you're you're being able to you know that they're going to bring you to the right place is just to do a quick google search on dell service tag lookup or warranty lookup or express service code lookup but you're better off to go with the st which is a service tag anyways you know once you input that information under their service tag lookup they'll actually give you the exact model which would be the 7410 sometimes they'll give you the full model 7410 with more information afterwards but it will give you a breakdown of the full specs of the motherboard you know what kind of usb ports you have you know what what's your maximum ram that you can actually upgrade in and stuff like that you know so but as for this specific model here well, all we're doing is we're just replacing the 2280 series ssd and the very very straightforward you know uh, installation and disassembly for this so you know if, if you want to follow it here this is like it'll probably take you less than 10 minutes from beginning till then and you'll be good to go you know, as you can see here, this is how the laptop looks like here in an open phase. But what you want to do first is to bring it to a closed position where your screen is, is, is facing down on your working table, wherever you're going to be working at, and make sure that it's closed just like this. You know, um, and as you can see here, there's two screws up on the top uh, on the top side, which is, you know, top left and, and, and top right, and three in the middle here, the left, the middle, and the right side. And then the same thing as three at the bottom. And the good thing with this setup, with this model here, which is an awesome model here, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to rotate this here um, to the left twice here to give you a better viewing angle. So yeah, this looks better. At least the word, the wording, and the model is actually it's it's in, it's in its proper orientation. So if you look at it here, like I said, going back to the screws, you don't have to remember where these screws go because this. Dell laptop, which is an amazing built laptop, is built like the Lenovo brands. A lot of the Lenovo Carbon series and other series, sometimes once you start unscrewing, you're going to start hearing this ticking sound. So just remember, once you start unscrewing about three or four or five revolutions, when you're unscrewing it, you're going to start hearing like a tick, tick, tick. And once you hear that, then you know you're fully unscrewed, but the screws won't necessarily come out is actually going to stay in the, in the in the bottom panel which is awesome so for every screw that you unscrew here the total of uh eight of them in total you know three three and two you know they won't fall out they'll stay right in the panel so you don't even have to worry about placement or knowing where it needs to go because they won't come out and the other awesome thing with this here you don't even need any prying tools like seriously you don't you know your thumbnail or your your index fingernail it's all you're going to need to open up this bloody thing which is amazing too so all you, as long as you have like a micro star screwdriver, you're good to go, you know? So just remember, right? So the next thing you want to do is once you've unscrewed everything here, obviously three, uh, you know, three on top, three in the middle and two, you know, at the bottom, you know, bottom left, bottom right. Once you've unscrewed them all and just make sure that every one of those screws you're unscrewing is going to make that ticking sound, right? Once you start hearing that, then this is what you do next. You open up your screen, keep the screen down and then just open up the keyboard part and put it almost like, almost like about at 80 degrees upwards. And once you've done that, literally, as you can see here, I literally just push down with my thumbnail and it just literally opened up. So what you want to do here is, is to start off. This will be the orientation where my left hand is. It will be starting off here. So if you follow my cursor, which is the best way to do it, you would do that. And then you would run your thumb nail all the way down to the center. And then you'll start noticing you'll just pop open. And that's how easy it is. And as you can see here, it just pops open like with very little resistance. As soon as that these these clamps here that hold these uh, the bottom panel in place, they're very well designed. They won't break, but they're very it, it's a it's a good quick release mechanism that they actually developed for this model. And as you can see here, I ran my thumbnail to the right side on the top right, which would be on this side here. You know, and, uh, sorry. And, and as you can see here, it just comes right off. And then what you want to do next here um, is is to close your laptop back up. 
you know, and and then you can start just using your fingernail and just popping the edges, the bot, uh, the, the 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 left side and the right side, like what you're seeing here. This is the, you know, the the right side here, and then you know this is the left side here. And as soon as you pop them up with your fingernail, as you can see, the whole bottom panel pops open just that easily. Like no word of a lie, it's just that simple. So no prying tools needed, you know. So you don't have to worry about breaking anything sometimes when people use pry tools or using a credit card which i don't always like doing because i have special pry tools that allow me to run my pry tool about not even like a one or 1 1.5 millimeters into the edges so that i'm not scraping any components that could potentially be underneath or on the other side of the the system where you can't see it right so with this here you don't even need to worry about that so as you can see here you just as soon as you run your finger one finger and then you just pop it this part here opens up, right side opens up also. You don't even need to worry about the back because it easily opens up. But if you want to make sure that it, it releases, just put your fingernail underneath one of the, the center screw here, here, and the top left and the top right, and it'll just pop open. And then just slowly lift the tab here. And then as you can see there, it, it, it's just, it opens up really nicely. And this is what your system looks like. And this is where we're going to be focused here because they actually have like a plate cover with the, with the, with the, you know, a heat conductive, like a, a, some type of like a thermal shield, you know, it's almost, you know, it looks almost like a, it's like a, a two millimeter, you know, a, a thermal conductor, you know, for, for it to cool off your SSD. So once you remove the screw here, this thing here, I find it the best place for you to open this up was that I put my fingernail here, my index finger, like my left hand, I just, I just curled it upwards with my fingernail, then it just popped open. So this thing here, if you want to slide it to the right side, because as you can see here, there's two legs here or two levers that's kind of, it's slipping underneath here to keep it in place so that it doesn't slide around. So once you unscrew the screw here, just put your left fingernail, pop it underneath here, just hook it upwards, pop it upwards, and then just pull this tab to the right side. And then, and then you will see your SSD. And, you know, this is just a closer up shot here. And then once I remove it here, this is what it looks like. So this is the exact SSD that you can replace it with. Uh, just to make a note, this is a 2280, uh, 2280 series SSD, but it's not the same length as a typical SSD that you normally get on most laptops. It is shorter. But so if you guys want to replace it with the exact model, you know, uh, just to give you a, a, a reference of measurement, this one here. Um, I did, I, I'm just doing a quick video just to show you guys. But this one here is three quarters of the length of a normal 2280s what in what most laptops use you know so i mean it will fit you know so i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna provide a link for you guys to replace the exact model um but as for reference just remember that if you're looking for a replacement with a larger size which size which is a non like keoxia whatever corporation brand you know uh, whatever it is um just just make sure that the one that you're using you know, it's going to be three quarters of a length of an original 2280, which is a full length one, which is about, you know, I would say about four inches long in, in the width or the length, you know, so, and just remember that, you know, so what I'll do is uh, if, if I have a little bit of time to look, I'll try to show you what the difference is. I'll try to provide two links for replacement ones of the proper length, because you don't want to end up buying a longer one that's about four inches long because it won't fit on this motherboard. Because even though that this looks here, with this picture here, it looks like it's a regular size length, but it's really not. It's literally about about from here to here. On a normal length, a normal 2280s that I normally buy for most laptops are is the full length of this tab, this 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 uh, this shield that you see here. You know, so keep that in mind, right? So the one that you're using here for this model here, it's about three quarters of the length of this whole plate. You know, so keep that in mind, right? So just um. But like I said, you know, I'll try to get you the right number because I know, you know, that they'll have different, uh, they have different number. It's, it's, they're like a different number or a different coding to identify which ones you need. And they didn't do this for this one here. Even the, the Amazon link that I actually have, it doesn't even identify exactly the actual, you know, uh, the model type that you would need to replace it with. It just tells, it just says 2280 because that's the fitment of the, the actual drive. So, I mean, but you know what, like I said, I'll, I'll put the exact model or, or the exact link for this exact replacement. You're just replacing with the 256 again. And if you want something larger with the 500 gig or one terabyte, whatever, I will do my best to, because uh, I'm just in a rush, guys. My apologies. Normally, I would take more time to do this for you guys and provide you the other ones. But I'm, I'm going to spend a couple of minutes to see if I can find if I can. Just look in the description link and then you will see it there, you know, for, for option two. Just remember that. All right. 
So, I mean, thanks for looking. Uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you can, just, you know, please like, subscribe, or, you know, write down a comment if you have any questions. And, you know, we're all good to go. Have a good weekend, guys. Cheers.